Good day. In this video I'm making some washers out of 38 diameter aluminium. They're 3mm thick and 6mm thick. These blanks I prepared in the centre lathe. That allowed me to use the power feed to drill that hole up the middle. That's the Kenner metal parting tool, 1.6 wide, low cutting force insert. You can see the chips are just flying out of the groove. It does a really nice job. A little jiggle about there while it does the chamfers. A number of places uh, this mark appeared on the part. Um, but it wiped off. There was no difference to the surface finish or anything so I don't know what was causing that. It was rather odd. So when I get parts to make that are too big to go up the spindle this is the way to, that I do them. Just have to hang on to as little as possible. You can see in the soft jaws there not hanging on to very much material. This is the ancient Pratt burner chuck I use. When they supply you with soft jaws they're actually a bit oversized and they work really well in a worn out chuck. I, you, in some chucks you'd have to remove some metal from them but I didn't have to. That was running out a bit there so I just uh, stopped the program and seated the thing in the chuck again and started again. Two thousand RPM is about right I think for the thirty eight diameter. These are the six mil washers. I had to make some threes and sixes. There's that mark again, you can see it better on the, the in that shot. Um, don't normally part off, but these things were not being damaged by parting them off completely. So I'll just let it keep going. Now if you have a look at that chip you'll see there's a hump in the middle of it. That's uh, designed to stop it being as wide as the groove it's in. If you measure it, it's actually not as wide as the groove. That's what the insert looks like from the front and here from above. That's a stack of washers. And that's what they look like. Thank you for watching.